Jesus said, as often as you do this, he didn't legislate how often or how seldom. He said, as often as you do this, is something he, he left this up to, uh, to our own measure of faith and desire. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. And we choose to do it often. You can't, you can't look at something that's just an inch deep. You can't just look at it often and, and maintain a, 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 a view of, of awe over it because something that's an inch deep, you, you just get to the bottom of it. As eventually, coming to it again and again and looking again and again, and you, and you exhaust it. You, you just come to the end. Like Solomon said, I've seen the end of all perfection. Well, no, we never do say we've seen the end of all Jesus. We haven't, haven't been there yet. The cost of salvation is greater than we have seen. The cost of our redemption is, is more than we can, is greater than we can express. That's one of the reasons why we come to remember again and again, because we continue to be more deeply impacted by thinking upon Jesus. The, uh, the prophet Isaiah in chapter 53, he, he used uh, some words to describe uh, Jesus' offering. And the, the cost that was paid is not, it's not something that was like paid out of, out of pocket. It wasn't something impersonal. It wasn't, that the, it wasn't something paid out of the storehouses. That was, it wasn't, in other words, it wasn't an impersonal transaction. It was a, it was a transaction made between God and the Son. So the God... He, he owned part of this investment, the cost of redemption, and Jesus owned part of this, uh, of the investment in, in redemption. So these are, these are very, it's, it was a very personal cost, both to the Father and to the Son. It's not like emptying of pockets. It was, it was giving of life. It was giving of, it was, it was investment of person. And th- that's what Isaiah captured in chapter 53. These things were bigger than Isaiah saw. Than Isaiah knew, but he, it was it was revealed to them to him that not without us would he be made perfect. So here's some words starting in verse five. He was wounded for our transgressions. That's that's a word of cost of inv- wounded. He was wounded. He was bruised for our iniquity. Chastisement was upon him. Stripes by his stripes we are we are healed. Verse 6, the Lord laid on, on him the iniquity of us all. See, every, everything is personal to Jesus in this, in this text. He was oppressed. He wasn't an onlooker. He was a partaker. He was oppressed and afflicted. And then uh, down in verse 8, it says, For the transgression of my people was he stricken. See, all these speak to the cost of salvation. Redemption wasn't easy. Or maybe we should say redemption isn't isn't easy because this is a, this is a cost that that was paid. But see, salvation is still being worked out. He is working salvation in the midst of the earth. Uh, verse ten of Isaiah fifty three. It pleased the Lord to bruise him. So this is not just a matter. And I think there's a lot of confusion. This is salvation is not a matter of what the of what the Roman soldiers did to Jesus or of what the Jews did. To Jesus. This is a matter of what God did to Jesus Amen. and a matter of what Jesus did for God. Yeah. It, was, it pleased him. God was pleased to bruise him. There was a, there was a bruising that was not seen by the, 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 the soldiers that said, surely this was a righteous man. There was a bruising that soldier didn't see. There, there was walk, there, those who walked by and wagged their heads as they went, there was a bruising that those people didn't see. It pleased, the Lord was pleased to bruise him and put him to grief. See, all these are, these are, these are terms of cost. This was at great cost to, to uh, Jesus. Verse 11, he shall see the travail of his soul and be satisfied. That is, God saw Jesus' travail and God was satisfied. Not that, he was, not that he enjoyed it, it's that his righteousness was satisfied. It's his justice was satisfied. This was, this was uh, the, the payment for sin was being 
was being satisfied, being exacted. And finally, in verse, uh, verse 12, it says, He hath poured out his soul unto death. So this is a cost that couldn't be paid from heaven. He had, Jesus had to come to earth to pay it. And this is all done in experience. And so what we shall say to these things, Peter says, you are not redeemed with corruptible things. This is not a, a cost or a price that anyone else could pay. It says, we, he gave himself a ransom for all, 1 Timothy 2.6. He gave himself, not, it didn't come out of pockets. It didn't come out of an account. He gave himself a ransom uh, for all. In Zechariah 13, the prophet said, uh, the Lord said through the prophet, I will smite the shepherd. God, you see, it looked like men, but it was God. God smote the shepherd. So when we come to this table, brethren, to look at the cost, again, we look at it again. We're not only looking at the cost, but we're looking, we're looking at what has come out, what has resulted from the cost. And so, when, see, when, we, when I see the cost, then I'm able to count all things but loss. I'm not able to give up the world until I see the value of Jesus. And no one else is either. So when I, come to, when I look at the cost like David did, he says, What shall I render unto the Lord for all of his benefits toward me? I'll take the cup of salvation. I'll take it. So we come to see the cost in order to, to uh, firm up our our grasp on eternal life. As we lay hold on eternal life, this table is like, is like critical in our laying hold on eternal life because we're, we're coming to look at the cost Amen. of what it, what it took for, for uh, salvation to, uh, to come uh, to us. So you'll be able to take joyfully the spoiling of your goods when you see what you have in heaven. And you'll, be, you'll sell all you have to buy the field when you see what he has given you in the, in the person of his son. So I bid you to come and to, again, see how precious the redemption of your soul is. Amen. Our Father in heaven, we thank you.